Hey, what's up, guys? It's us, IPA, uh, back with another tour. This is part two of our BBI uh, boarding tour. Last time we couldn't finish, and it got canceled. But um, we are going to tour BBI boarding, which costs 40k per year. Uh, of course, euros, of course. And um, we're going to go through all the facilities, some rooms, and we'll, you'll see everything that is great about boarding. And uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, we really appreciate if you smash that like button. And uh, we want 3k uh, su uh, subs today. I don't know, maybe. Uh, and 2k likes. All right. All right so uh, joining me on this tour today will be my good friend, uh, Gerard over here. You know, just pulled up in his new whip, uh, looking really fire. How are you doing, man? Yeah. I'm good, bro. I'm good, bro. I'm good, bro. I'm good. Bro. I'm good. All right. And of course, we have our uh, foreign exchange student here. All right. Um, hey, man. Yes. yes. Hello. All right. So, and we will now commence our boarding tour. So up first on our list of things to talk about is definitely the BBI's boarding card. A BBI's boarding card is really uh, important because it makes sure that BBI's boarding is very secure and our students and strangers do not come into BBI's boarding as only students have this card and some staff. Oh, wait, one second. Let me take this call. Um, hello? Hello? Right now? That's like two billion. Okay, right now. Okay, I'm filming something, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Guys, I gotta go on this business meeting. Uh, I'll be back soon. Yo, can I have the boarding pass? Alright, I'll see you guys soon. Uh, Max will be replacing me for the time being. I'll be back for the tour very soon. <laughs> He said he's also very sad that Eric can't come. And we might get Max. Oh, what's up, guys? Let's get into this fucking room tour thing. You know, what's up? We, we got homies here. What's up? <laughs> what's up? Come in. Boarding room tour. First year, PTA. What do you have to say about this, Jared? I mean, this is where we wait for announcements. We have announcements at 6 p.m. right after dinner. 6.20, actually. And this is also where we get the food. On Fridays and Saturdays, we get to order takeaway. What did you order last time, Max? I ordered some rice noodles, pretty oily, wasn't that good, but you know, we made do with what we get. I think you should have ordered some sushi, made with nine, with that shit bust, man. Here, we're we gonna leave around the way. Packets from yesterday, all empty, no leftover food. Yes, I'm with it. <laughs> so guys, welcome to the kitchen and laundry. As you can see here, we have laundry here. There's two washing machines and two dryers for every floor. There's four floors of students living in this door. So, Hi. it's enough. Like. Sometimes there's fights, like I beat this guy up the other day, he took my laundry spot, but you know, normally it doesn't go like that, normally it's fine. Two washing machines, two dryers, you can see here my laundry is here, separated by temperature because I care about my drip. And I think Max will explain the appliances now. Hmm, okay, so we have like a lot of drawers here, you know, gotta be clean, gotta respect other people's areas, you know. We got some mugs, they're usually pretty dirty though, so kinda ironic that you have this here. We got, some, we got some plates, they're pretty good usually, but you can't really like use them because they're dirty as well. And we also got some, some bowls, so you know, like, it's all good. And then we got a toaster here. Toaster is like probably my most used object, you know. It's my prized possession, this is what I eat like on the daily. Here we have some grilled cheese. This is uh, this Japanese person's favorite appliance, you know. He makes his grilled cheese in here, very, very clean. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, Alright, so basically what he said was that usually the 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 fridge is like always full as you can see here. There's a lot of meat, there's a lot of butter, there's a lot of you know more butter. And people just like leave their food in here so we can just like eat their food if you want, you know? And just like eat if you wanna. And then it's like juice as well. I like this juice as well as my room. It's like two beers. Yeah. That's about it. Ah! Ah! Also, this 
is the weight room. We got a lot of weights here. We got a big man on the bench press. We got, I think you got like 20 on here, 20 on each side, bars like 30. You know, like big lifters, big lifters. What else? Uh, you need to be 18 to use this room. Only one of us is 18 though. Oh, whatever. We're seven. Two. Let's go to the gym, bro. I bet. Uh, this gym has a lot to offer, you know. We're always in here, always on the grind. Grind never stops, you know. We just bust our feelings. My main man, Aaron. Mm, sorry. How's it going? Uh, well, oh, you got, oh, fuck. Hey guys, what's up? Um, I'm training some stocks here. Yo, can you give me a second? Um, so, we're, right now we're training IPA. We're looking for a uh, hostile takeover, two billion. Uh, I think we're gonna secure. Mm -hmm. I think it's gonna be nice. a great investment. I think IPA is gonna go up in price. As you see right now, it's spiking. Um, we invested here over here, but I think we can now do a hostile takeover. Anyways, I'm done with my business meeting, um, so we can go back to having the room tour. You know, one day you gotta teach me all these socks, you know? Yeah, man, I um, got you. It's just like, uh, yeah. You know, I'm on a real all-time low with my salary, you know? So one day, you just gotta teach me how it's done. All right, bro, I got all you, bro. Why don't you show us your room, bro? All right, well, in my room. I'm, um, I play cards, you know? Um, in my computer, you finish off. I have to use a laptop because it's portable. Cause I move around a lot, you know, you know, investors. You know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a millionaire. I gotta move around. You know, sometimes I gotta go to China. I gotta go see Jack Ma. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I, I hold some shares in Alibaba, and uh, I gotta go to. Sometimes I go back to Canada. You know, meet up with the Elon Musk, and you know, talk about Tesla stuff like that. You know, I'm actually supposed to meet up with Jeff Bezos in uh, in a few days. So, yeah, I'll um I'll be busy then. But I think right now, this place is quite nice. You know, you got the room. It's quite big. You usually get two beds. Uh, I opted for the single room because I need my privacy to trade my sp stocks. Um, you know, you can't have a, another person looking at my credit card while I'm trading stocks, right? Um, you know, I gotta go to school. I got my backpack. Um, yeah, two beds. I only sleep on one though. It doesn't really matter. You got my sharks. What would you say your favorite class is at school? My favorite class is probably economics, you know. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Um, I, love, I love economics. I love money. Everything's great, you know? Everything's going good. Who's your favorite teacher? Probably Mr. Chamberlain. He teaches economics. Uh, I love economics. I love money. It's great. All right, so after all that investing, we're pretty tired, right? You just want to like meet up with your friends, yeah? That's true. So and, um, one of the perks about living and boarding is that you know your boarding friends are always you know few few meters away from you. So let's go to Jirat's room. Well, let's see what this guy's doing. What's oh, up, man? What's up, bro? Hey, man. Um, you know, I was actually studying for like five hours this morning, but now I'm just taking my break. So I'm passionate about two things. I'm passionate about making money, and I'm passionate about the video game ballad, as you can see over here. So right now, I'm just, you know, when I'm taking my break, I just want to consume material from both things at once. That's my favorite stream, Mr. Nacho. Bro, yeah, these computers, uh, they don't come with boarding, sadly. Uh, the Wi-Fi speed, I mean, it's okay. It gets us by. There's like hella packet loss, but whatever. Yeah, that's my one complaint about the um, Wi-Fi at BBS boarding is that the Wi-Fi is really fast when downloading and stuff. For playing games, it's like sometimes it's just unplayable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you're like you're peaking and then you just teleport. Like, you know how cringe that is. But anyways, not even trolling, bro. But you know what? We still got to radiant, bro. So it's whatever. I mean, this guy's just immortal. He's kind of funny, but he doesn't know how to calm, bro. Can we has, uh, Yo, Eric, where's he going? Uh, yeah, so I, I got a meeting in like about two hours, so once we finish filming this, I gotta go. I'm just making sure we uh, get things ready early so I don't get late. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, tell us why you got four mattresses in your room. Uh, you know, sometimes we like we do sleepovers because the stocks in America we're six hours ahead, so they close a bit late. So we just all sleep here and we do twenty four hour stock trading marathon. Japan, New Zealand, Germany, USA, you know. One night, I think we made like. Of course, I'm the best at that. You know, I take economics. Yeah, my favorite teacher is Mr. Chamberlain. Like, yeah, you know how it is. You know how it is. We've only seen a single room so far, so let's take a look at a double room, which is three thousand euro cheaper. Hello. Yo, what's up, Marcus? Yo. Morning room tour. <laughs> no. <laughs> So, it's just, no, yeah. it's the double room. Okay. You see, uh, as you can see over there, um, look up a bit, camera. We got the safes over there. You see, uh, usually you get two safes, one for each person. But uh, if you got a single one, we got two. I don't really know why you need two though. 
as you can see, this is what a this is what a double room looks like. It's just kind of like a single room except it's split in half, and usually you have one person stay on this side. And like you got one desk to yourself, and one bed to yourself. How, how would you say the the double room experience is like? It's pretty good because you have friends here, guys. That is well, true. Especially that's the one thing that's. Um, we haven't even taken a little look at the bathrooms yet, so let's wait, go wait, take a wait, look. Wait, wait, wait. First, how is it living with a roommate? You know, like, you don't feel lonely. You don't feel lonely. That's very important. You need to socialize. Mm. Mm. That's pretty important. True, true. Yeah. Does it uh, impact your studying at all? Mm, no, quite. Because you, as long as you have kind of discussed with him, you can coordinate everything very well. Mm. What's, the, what's the most annoying thing about having a roommate, if there's anything? Uh, I would say sometimes he occupies bathroom too much. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you think he's doing in the bathroom? Uh, <laughs> I have no idea. So would you rather, if you could go back to the beginning of the year, would you have a roommate or not? Um, I would say no. Cause I, you know, I. It doesn't matter though. Yeah. No matter. But, so it's not a big problem. Not big problem. Okay. Mm. Thank you, Mark. Yeah. yeah. Mm. All right. See you then. Uh, so let's take a look at the uh, washrooms yet, because we haven't really taken a look at it yet. So uh, yeah. Take a look on the switch. So in the washroom, of course, you have the sink. Uh, you have the mirror. You have the light. You have the shower. Uh, usually, sometimes it comes with these um things that actually like hold your um shampoo and stuff. But uh, sometimes it also doesn't. Comes with two hooks here and a window cleaner. I don't know why they have a window cleaner, but we move. Um, here we have all their appliances, and we also have the toilet. Thanks, man. I love you. Love you too, bro. You know, you have two filters, you have the uh, normal water, and then you have the super cold water. You really go for the super cold water, because it just tastes a lot of you. You know, it's scientifically proven that the colder the water, the more gains you make on your stuff. So, I, I just think it's you know, cool, I guess. You know, that's factual. And, um, but, if you do want uh, hot water, um, some of the kitchens do have boilers. They're often gone, because people actually take them to their rooms. Um, recently, actually, I think it was like two years ago, boarding actually took all of our boilers from our rooms and we're no longer Very allowed sad. to have Very boilers sad. in our rooms, which is a detriment to uh, our living because I can no longer make tea at 3 a.m. That's tasty. Alright. So, here we have a uh, boarding student. Clearly, he's cooking right now. And oh, so, so, would, you say um, the, <laughs> would you say the cooking facilities are sufficient in boarding? No. <laughs> could, could you could you comment on uh, the cooking experience in the morning? That <laughs> was bad. You don't you don't uh, put them the bottom. Tell us about the cooking boys. Uh, yeah, we don't have enough stuff pretty much for everything. Um, not enough uh, trays. Uh, not enough uh, food wrap. Anything pretty much. We don't have bags. Mm. Don't have anything that we can cook from. Everything must be bought by ourselves. The wording still buys a lot of stuff that we really don't need, and, like it's very unhealthy. Mm. You can look in the fridge, I guess. Take a look in the fridge. You want the cabbage? No, cabbage is mine. <laughs> yeah, the cabbage is good actually. Mm. Like, I'm talking about that. What the hell is that? Why, why, like why, some why, meat? why do we need this? It's very bad. It's good meat, you know? Mm. Alright, thank you for your time. Thank you. We will continue. Have a delicious meal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here we have the games room. Um, it's actually not video games, which kind of sucks. But we do have some board games and other sport games. <laughs> uh, so we have a ping pong table, of course. We got pool, and we got um, I don't know what it's called. Uh, giraffe. Foosball table. Foosball table. Alright. And um, we actually have blinds in this place. I don't know how. Wow. It's, it's different from the normal ones. We usually just have curtains. But, oh. uh, but yeah, there's not a lot actually to the uh, game room. Um, actually, if you look on the side of the wall there, that was actually made by one of our students in the BIS boarding. Um, 
He, his name is uh, Herman, and he painted that last year. Wow. Hey, Ashley. Yeah, go to Hey. What's up, guys? Um, so now we're going to look at the common room. I'm pretty sure Jura and Yinny are currently watching American Psycho. Let's take a look. I'll turn it down for you, man. What, what, what do you think of the common room? I mean, I rarely use it. The graded 9s and 10s, they have announcements here. We have ours in the PTA. But, I mean, the TV's decent. I don't use it that much, but it seems kind of comfy. Um, of course, we got the uh, a lot of paintings here. This actually used to be the, uh, the old games room. We used to have a pinball machine here. I don't know what they really did with it. But of course, we have the uh, world clock there. Of course, BBI Sporting World Clock. I'm pretty sure they made them themselves. Um, we got the Christmas tree, of course. Festivities, it's November, you know, Christmas is coming up. So, uh, yeah, that's that concludes the common room. All right, boys, let's go. Mm. All right, you know, you do look pretty good. <sighs> Thanks, man. Uh -huh. All right, all right. So, what are we about to so walk, guys, what what are we about walk into? Conference room. People study here, people do. I don't even know what people do here, but they do stuff. All right, so, so this was a trophy for the boarding team competition. It was who could make the most money from stocks. And, and uh, of course, um, look at regulators was actually my group. Of course, they had me, the best stock trader in the entire boarding. Yeah. You know, I'm actually the one of the youngest millionaires in the entire world. I don't know if I told you that. Yeah, but I'm the youngest millionaire, so it doesn't matter. This guy's trash. No, right? this guy literally broke. <sighs> He's running low cash, but no cap. Yeah, and then I was and trying, you know, I was trying to use my credit card in front of this hot ego at the Etika, but then it got declined, so that was kind of embarrassing. It was kind of embarrassing. Was but so you know what? Happens, happens. All right, so here we have the conference room. Of course, we have a plastic kit TV. Oh, uh, why not? Uh, we don't even use it. We got the we got the printer. Um, you know, you, you print things. Uh, we got the computers. These are probably like four years old. They all kind of suck ass, and the mouses also suck. But uh, here we have Long Boy. He's a resident uh, Valorant player. He's he's actually he's actually on uh, he's on split right now. He's um. Oh, he's winning. <laughs> Actually, personally, I don't like split. It's kind of a bit too small. I'm claustrophobic, so you can't really yeah, notice. They kind of like buy more. Yes, yeah, so buy is actually my favorite map. Why'd you decide to play in the conference room, huh? Um, I don't want to mess up with um, Marcus studying. So mm. I'm just gonna stay here. Respect him. Respect him. Yeah, we visited him earlier, and he was like, "Yeah, I'm playing with my roommate in my room while studying." But mm -hmm. apparently, you're here then. Okay. Apparently use the bathroom too much. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 that's what Marcus said, not me. Of course, uh, you know, quite curiously, when you see that most of the board games are actually in the conference room and not in the games room. Which I think is really stupid. Mm -hmm. But we move. I mean, when you do have a conference, you have some yearbooks. Wow, old yearbooks. Some yearbooks. Yeah, you got the old ones. No, no new ones though. None, none of us are really like, none of us are in them. Yeah, so yeah. And it's kind of unimportant. Yeah, it kind of was, um, so they're, they're, they're not really near like us anyway. So, bro. So, uh, the two places we have to take down to is the, uh, the courtyard over there, and we have a gaming area over here, which is for outdoor sports. This is badminton, too. Yeah. It's not really badminton, it's more So, I can see if you move here, it's kind of cold outside, so. That's not, we don't really want to go outside, right? No. But if you uh, moved over here, you see that um, we got two, uh, two Asian people. They're, um, they're playing badminton. You know, the badminton net is kind of scuffed, uh, but it is for uh, half of the stuff isn't being used anyways. So, yeah. Alright, so we're going to go to the next room. Alright, so we're going to go to the next room. Alright, so we're going to go to the next room. Alright, so we're going to go to the next room. Alright, so we're going to go to the next room. Alright, so we're going to go to the next room. Alright, so we're going to go to the next room. Alright, so we're going to go to the next room. Alright, so we're going to go to the next room. Alright, so we're going to go to the next room. Alright, Kitchen, I mean the dining room opens, and we have the catering service that brings us food. This is also true at 5:30 p.m. is when the dinner happens. And on weekends, 
It's at 12. I mean, 11. So, what do you think of these times, Jeff? I mean, personally, I wake up at 3 a.m., but, you know, I gotta wait for the other sheep to get up, so it's whatever. Fair enough. I've seen two hours. I got up. I look at the stocks for a bit. I'm like, I bet. And then I uh, go pump. You know, I do some work lifting. Um, I'm a weight lifting. I look at the stocks again. And then my day is pretty much over. <laughs> Unfortunately, guys, the dining hall is currently locked. We can take a peek inside, though. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. I wonder if this way it is not open, quite sad. Everything is locked. Everything is locked. And um, I'm pretty sure that that is almost pretty much all the boarding. So um, let's go outside to conclude our tour. I hope you guys liked the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. You know, and if you get 100 likes, we might as well just do a day in your life. At school, you know what I'm saying? At BBIS. Hey. So, sh shout out, share this video with your friends, and get this video up to 100 likes. Peace out, guys. Peace out.